Hmm. Good morning. How did you sleep? Good. Me too. Yeah, I'm feeling fine. I promise. I'm not just saying that. I'm feeling much better. I'm still a bit sore, but I don't think it'll hurt to get up. That doesn't mean I'm ready to get up. <laughs> get back here. Mm -mm. Just let me enjoy this for a minute. I haven't always had the luxury of laying in bed for a while after waking up. Remember that year when we were doing daily runs to the Moreno spaceport from Centaurus? Mm-hmm. Ripley had us awake two hours before dawn to get the shipments moving, and we didn't get back till the city curfew kicked in. Four hours of sleep a night for nearly a year it should have broken us. You know, he never found out that we covered for each other on those runs. Nope. Shortly before the fateful incident that took me away from the Aces, I was ordered to clean up his office. I found a data pad with daily entries, like a journal that he kept during that contract. One of the entries said something to the effect of he didn't understand how we were able to manage with so little sleep, but he chalked it up to teenage energy. He had no idea that we used to tamper with the cams and then trade off guard duty so each of us could catch a nap in transit. <laughs> we didn't just keep each other sane. We kept each other alive. We had to. Given the choice, of course, I still would have watched your back. Us being part of the gang didn't have that much bearing on my feelings towards you. We just mesh really well. We always did. Hmm. Hmm. So... How did you get this scar, anyway? Yeah, this one in front of your ear. You didn't have it when I left Centaurus. Assassins? They came for Ripley. And you protected him. Of course you did. <laughs> no, I don't blame you. Whoever sent the assassins probably knew who you were anyway, so even if they had succeeded, you would have been next on their list. And even if that wasn't the case, better the evil you know, right? So they grazed you with the blade when you stepped in? Hmm. And what about this one? On your upper arm? Looks like a plasma bullet entry wound. Hmm. <laughs> you were lucky it was just a ricochet. And it looks like you got medical attention quickly, otherwise you wouldn't have such good mobility. Hmm. Of course I recognize what a plasma bullet wound looks like. Galactic Navy, remember? Oh, I've had my fair share. Look. Took one just below the collarbone in my second year on active duty. It wasn't a particularly special story. We were just pushing back some rogue factions that were harassing colonists on Delta II. One exchange got a little more heated than usual. A civilian got scared and fired an unauthorized shot. We took a couple losses, and most of us got injured, but the mission was successful overall. No, I got lucky. It's a little stiff from time to time, but it doesn't really bother me. What about this one, on the back of your hand? From the scarring, it looks like something sliced you up pretty badly. <laughs> You 
getting into a back alley brawl. <laughs> Over what? <sighs> well, I know I'm several years too late, but you shouldn't let rival gangs provoke you. Especially not if they're talking shit about me. I promise I can handle it. <laughs> let me guess. Whoever you decked in the face had cybernetic implants, which is why your hand got so screwed up. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing with that amount of force, their face looked a hell of a lot worse than your hand did. Hmm. What do you mean, why am I doing this? We used to patch each other up all the time. I knew every injury, every scar, every freckle. I've missed a lot of opportunities to take stock, so I'm catching up. <laughs> Captain, I'm sorry to disturb you, but I've discovered something in the data stream. Please come take a look when you can. We're on our way, Z. <sighs> Duty calls. <laughs> but let's do this again sometime. Ideally, soon. All right, Z. What do we have? I've intercepted a message detailing a rendezvous between a member of the Council and Ripley. That quickly? Let me see. The test subjects are a loss, but the data from the initial colony experiments has given us the results we were hoping for. We've redeveloped the serum and are ready to begin testing the improved formula on our able-bodied candidates. Bring recruits from your gang to your safe house and I will meet you there. The safe house? My raw. Whoever this is has ordered Ripley and the Aces there to begin juicing them up with this stuff. To what end, and who sent this? Captain, the transmission. What about it? It is only that... Z? Are you hesitating? Yes. I didn't know you could hesitate. Neither did I. What is it, Z? The transmission was sent from Senator Lorana's office. What? No, it's... that's wrong. It, it can't be right. I cross-referenced the data. I remotely recalibrated every device and compared it again. I checked nearly 2,000 times. I am sorry, Captain, but the data is correct. This message was sent from the Senator's personal console in her office, using her network credentials and biometric authentication. See, are you saying... There is no other explanation, Captain. I know. I, I always knew it might be her, but it, it doesn't make any sense. What do you mean, Renegade? Well, yeah, the Aces were tipped off before we arrived to rescue the science team, but she was the one to send me there in the first place. Why bother when she could have just moved them quietly without alerting me, or not moved them at all? Covering her tracks? <sighs> I'm not one to toot my own horn, but if she just wanted to cover her tracks, then why send someone as skilled and as competent as me? Why send someone who literally tracks people down for a living? Sending me guarantees that she would have been found out, not to mention, I was imprisoned shortly after taking the job. She could have simply left me there to rot, and I would have been out of her way. Why get me out of prison, then? And why use me like that? We're closest family. What we went through together, what we suffered. No, no, she never expressed any animosity or blame or anything like that. She never held any jealousy against me for the time I spent with Kira. This can't be happening. Why would Kajani be working with Ripley? Why would she? I 
I know. I always knew it was possible. I just... I have so few people I can trust. And you're telling me I might be losing one of them. That they might be in league with someone who brainwashed me. Put me through hell. You're right, of course. Yes. Yes, I can do this. We'll keep it simple. We confront her with the evidence, that's it. No, combat is not her style. But we'll go armed and prepared regardless. Yes, I'm sure. As long as I've got you by my side, I can bear it. <sighs> Let's gear up and go. Kajani, we need to talk. Andromeda, no. You weren't supposed to be here. You thought I wouldn't find out? I saw the message you sent to Ripley. I know you were... Is this all your blood? What happened? Who did this? I've met Ripley. He did this to you. Renegade, help me move her. Ripley was here. Forced me to send the message. Threatened you and Renegade. If I didn't... Shh. Call for medical. I'm putting pressure on it. You won't be able to call medical. There's a jammer preventing any signal from leaving this room. Andromeda. This was a trap. And you've just sprung it on yourself. Behind the desk. They're set to stun. They mean to take us alive. I can't hail Z and we can't call for help. We need to fight back. And we need to do it quickly or Kajani's gonna die. What? I'm mostly healed. I'll be fine. Renegade, no. Don't draw them off by yourself. I can fight. I can help you. I know someone has to stay with Kajani, but I don't want to be separated from you, please. I don't want them to take you, either. You had better come back to me. Hold on, Kajani. Just hold on. We're going to make it out of this. Captain, I am relieved to hear from you. I've been trying to reach you for the last half hour. I see your biomonitor is active, but showing elevated levels of stress. Renegade appears to be unconscious. What has happened? See, Ripley has them. Ripley has Renegade. It was all a trap to draw us in. He attacked Kajani and then had his guys wait around for us to come to her. Renegade tried to draw them off, but got stunned. I couldn't stop them from being taken. You did not go after them. Kajani was injured. I couldn't leave her. She would have bled out. I had to wait till medical got here. And how is she now? They're stabilizing her. I'm on my way back to you. I will track Renegade's location and begin plotting a course to follow Ripley. I've got to get them back, Z. We will, Captain. We will. <laughs>